This is Levi Sim. Uh, many of my students and my, uh, my club members, members of the Cache Valley Photographers Smug Group, have uh, asked me how to customize the look of my Lightroom windows. Um, because right now it just says Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 3, and down here it's just got this little flourish. Uh, first of all, let me show it to you in full screen mode so you can see over here. The first thing that changes is these flourish end marks, and all you do is right click there and then choose panel end mark and change it. And you can change it to several of these that they have built in, or if you go to the panel end marks folder, you can drop your own. Uh, file in here. A PNG is preferable. Something, a, a logo you've made in Photoshop yourself, and then it's available as an end mark. And uh, if you choose, so I've, I've got my logo end mark in there, and now it's got my own logo on there. So when somebody looks at my computer, it's clearly my computer, and just, I don't know, redefines my, or re-emphasizes my brand, perhaps. Um, another thing you can do is go up on a Mac, you go under the Lightroom menu and choose Identity Plate Setup. I believe on a PC we're going to go under the Edit menu and choose Identity Plate Setup, which might also be under Preferences on a, on a, P, on a PC. You'll have to check that out. But uh, And then you want to choose Enable Identity Plate. And then auto, already that's changed it to Levi Sim, which it's Levi Sim's computer, so that's the default. Um, that's me. <laughs> And but if I highlight those, I can I can change that as well and change it to S Designs Photography. And then I can also change the font, get away from Zapfino that that cursive look, and go to the font that I always use for uh, for all my stuff. My my business cards are in this one. I like the light version, and I think a font size of about 40 is going to be the right size. That looks good and it gives me a preview right up here as well. And then you can also change the font color. Um, white, oops, bring that back up. White is good for me, but you can choose another color if you like. You know, you could do red or whatever, pink, purple, green, whatever your uh, your your color scheme looks like. How about a little pink? Now, you know, sometimes I use red, but pink just doesn't have the same effect for me. Now, also, on the right side up here, you can change the font used for uh, the module names so that it all looks cohesive. So I'm going to change those also to Gil Sands so that it looks like the rest of my stuff and change it to light. And I like that very much. So you press OK there, and now you've got a customized... Uh, identity plate up there and customized panel end marks. Hope you like that. See you later.